Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how you can create a sidebar in your app using MIT App Inventor. So let me show you the demo of this one. So over here I have a sample app which I have created and it, have, it has lots of screens like dashboard, profile etc. So now over here you will be able to see the three lines, the menu icon. So if you click on the menu icon, you will be able to see the sidebar over here in this app. So you can also see the banner at the top which shows my app and then you can click on any of these you can also see the different icons for these items in the sidebar so i'm going to click on settings and over here you'll be able to see that it we have we have gone to the settings screen now again i'm going to go over here to user profile and you can see that it goes to the user profile screen so when you have lots of screens on your in your app you can use this to organize all the screens so that the user can navigate easily in the app if you are new to my channel my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called mit app inventor which is block based coding and easy so if you want to create fantastic mobile apps start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon so first we need to download an extension for the side uh, it is called the sidebar extension to implement the sidebar in our app so over here i'm going to give this link in the description below so over here you can scroll in the link and you'll be able to find the download link so just click on download and over here you'll be able to see the zip archive so just you can click on that over here you can see that it is downloaded next you need to go to the downloads folder and then you'll be able to see the zip file so what you need to do is you need to right click and you need to click on extract all and then you can choose the same destination and once it is extracted you'll be able to see a folder and inside the folder you'll be able to see the AIX files so we are going to use this AIX file which we will upload to MIT App Inventor now back in MIT App Inventor we are going to upload the extension over here so let me click on import extension and I'm going to choose the file the AIX file now you can see that the extension is imported over here now I'm going to bring it in inside the project next we are going to go over here to the layout section and we are going to bring in a horizontal arrangement and I'm going to put the width of this arrangement to be fill parent so that it occupies the whole width of the screen next I'm going to go over here to the user interface and I'm going to bring in the button let me just erase all the text in the button and I'm going to upload an image for this button the image of the menu icon you can see that the image is uploaded and it is visible over here next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to layout and I'm going to bring in a vertical arrangement and I'm going to put the height and width of this to be fill parent like this next let me go over here to the user interface and I'm going to bring in a label I'm going to change the text of this label to be dashboard I'm going to increase the font size of this label to be 30 and I'm going to make this to be bold next we want the title to be at the middle of this arrangement so I'm going to change the align horizontal to be center like this so you can name your screen any name you want over here in this label so I have put dashboard over here next what you need to do is you need to rename this vertical arrangement to the screen name so I'm going to put dashboard over here next I'm going to duplicate this and over here you'll have another vertical arrangement for which I'm going to change the text of the label and this is going to be the second screen of your app so you can put the text you want I'm going to put user profile next I'm going to again rename this to be user profile the same way you can do all your screens of your app so I'm, I'm just going to duplicate all this and create two more screens now you can see that I have put all the four screens in this app next I'm going to make all these other screens invisible so that only the dashboard is visible in the app next I'm going to go over here to the media section and I'm going to upload the the banner image for the sidebar so let me just go to upload file and let me upload the banner image over here I uploaded a sample image my app.png so now we are going to go over here to the sidebar component and let's change the image to be my app.png so that the banner is visible over here in this sidebar also make sure to rename the button to be menu button so that we go, we don't get confused in the block section now let's go to the block section so first when screen one is initializing what we need to do is we need to set all the items in the sidebar so for that i'm going to go over here to the extension and we are going to search for a block called set sidebar items and the list items is going to be a list so let me just go over here to lists and we are going to bring in this block make a list 
so over here you can put the list of items of the different screens you have in your app for example like the dashboard user profile etc so i'm going to go over here to the text and i'm going to bring in a string like this and the first screen is dashboard so let me just type dash dashboard over here next you need to put two colon symbol like this and then if you want any icon in your item you can put the name of the item over here the icon over here so the, you can get the icons from the google fonts website so i'm going to give the link for this also in the description below over here in this website you have lots of icons which you can choose so i'm going to first search for dashboard icon over here you can see the dashboard icon so i'm just going to click on it and you can see that the name of this icon is dashboard so you need to type dashboard over here so over here you, you can see that first we put the name of the item and also the name of the icon of the item which which the extension will get from the google forms we, fonts website next i'm going to duplicate this and for the second screen what we are going to do is let me just erase all of these and the second one is user profile so i'm going to put user profile over here and again we are going to choose an icon for this so let me just go over here and i'm going to search for profile you can see that we have a icon like this called person so we are going to put the name of the icon over here like this so you can do you can go over here to this icon and you can add lots of items for the different screens so as you can see i have two more screens to add so you can add the icons the respective icons and the name of the screen now over here you can see that i have added the list for all the four items next when the user clicks on the menu button which is over here we need to show the sidebar to the user so that they can choose an item from from this to navigate to the different screens in the app so let's go over here to the menu menu button and i'm going to bring in this block when menu button dot click so when the button is clicked let's go to the extension and we are going to bring in the show block so over here you can see the block called sidebar one dot show next what i'm going to do is after they click on the sidebar they'll be able to see all the list of items of the screens so when they click on a particular screen like dashboard they should go to the screen so for that we are going to go here to the extension again and i'm going to bring in the item one selected block like this so when the item one which is the dashboard item is selected by the user we need to make sure that the dashboard screen is visible for them so i'm going to go here and i'm going to bring in the vertical arrangement dashboard dot visible to and we are going to set this to be true so that the dashboard is visible when this item is clicked next i'm going to duplicate this so that we, we can make all other items invisible so we are going to make the next screen which is a user profile to be visible to be false and you can do the same for the settings screen like this and the share screen like this so you, you can see that i have set all of these to be false except the dashboard one next we also need to make sure that the sidebar is hidden so after they click on the item it should be hidden so that they'll be able to see the whole screen so we are going to bring in this block called sidebar one dot hide next i'm going to duplicate the whole list of blocks and i'm going to go over here and i'm going to bring in this block called item two selected inside this i'm going to put all of these blocks and when item two which is the user profile item is selected we need to show that screen so we are going to make this to be false and we are going to make the user profile dot visible to be true same way you can do for the third screen which is the settings one and the share screen now you can see that i have done it for all the four items like this now let us test the app and let's see if it is working so over here you can see the app i'm and i'm now in the dashboard screen now i'm going to click on the three i the menu icon like this and over here you can see the banner image at the top which shows my app and you can put your own image if you want and over here you can see the icons and the name of the screen so i'm going to click on settings and you can see that it went to the settings screen now i'm going to go over here and i'm going to click on share and you can see that it went to the share screen so the same way you can click on any of these and go to the nav navigate to the screens so so that it can make the navigation easier for the user you can also arrange the icons of the screens in a pack order so for that you can watch this video and also watch my full course of MIT App Inventor over here.